Okay, well, hello and welcome back. Uh, as you can see, I'm not on the building site, um, and I'm not even in Italy, I'm in Austria. And um, what I wanted to do is go through the amount of time and the amount of money I spent on redoing this roof, um, and if it was worthwhile, and if I do it again. So um, I've taken down all of the bills that I had and written them down uh, and the trips down there um, and I thought we'd just go through it and see what the what the takeaways are really um, because there was a lot of learning by doing obviously that was the first roof I've ever done so I don't know much about it um, but it was uh, it was a good place to start uh, I started very optimistically um, and I started very foolishly in the middle of October last year, thinking that I'd get it done nice and quickly. Uh, so there were some external factors that, uh, that slowed us down, but it was also not the cleverest time. Uh, I should have started maybe in March uh, and then have spent more time, planned more time in actually being there. It's always difficult because um, I do live you know, a four and a half or five hour drive away. Um, so it is always difficult to get get everything as organized um, and get everything everything set up so I can spend more time there with uh, um, the day jobs and, uh, and the kids and everything else. So anyway, um, let's just head back to where we started. Okay, well, oops, excuse my hair. I've made a hole. Uh, here to climb out of and now I can start taking the tiles off and I'll be making little stacks and then I can bring the stacks down at the end um, so it's it really is a small roof it's a nice easy one to start with Okay, well, it was very optimistically, and with those, uh, this is a quick and easy one to do. Um, then I started off, and that was the 15th of October 2022. Um, stripping the roof was pretty easy, it was pretty quick, uh, and obviously didn't cost any money. Uh, I decided in this event to bin all of the tiles because they've been up there for 50 years and most of them had uh, some sort of frost damage or or other damage and it seemed to make sense to change everything so um, so they all basically were stacked up and they're now going to be taken away and uh, and used for whatever old tiles are used for I imagine making roads or uh, or tracks or whatever so then, once the roof was off, and that was pretty quick, uh, we got to the first stage, the first bit uh, of spending some money. So this is the wood, um, and all of the roofing wood, so all of those uh, four metre pieces that I managed to squeeze in the back of the golf uh, and brought up, cost me uh, 270 euros down at the local timber yard. So again, um, screwing, bolting, fixing to to the roof initially to get the line set up, um, no real cost, but then we have steel and concrete. So the first batch of concrete I bought, which was pretty much most of it, uh, set me back 60 euros, and the second batch I bought set me back 45 euros. Um, and the steel sent me back about 45 euros as well. So that gave me the line around the bottom um, in reinforced concrete uh, for the, the beams to sit on and also to rebuild the top of the wall that was basically uh, made of dust and falling to pieces. So once all the joists uh, were in and set up, 
um, it was time to start with the underlay. So this roll of underlay was um, quite expensive. It was 170 euros in Austria. Uh, I bought that locally and then brought it down with me um, just for convenience and to save time. Um, and that's kept it waterproof. Uh, it it's not really supposed to be put on the way I put it on, but because I did the roof from the inside, um, it seemed to be the, the most sensible way to put it on. And it did work, and in the end it has covered, and it's overlapped, and it has a breather, um, and it's waterproof. So so it did work. Um, but I don't know if I'd do it that way again. I think I would go along the lines of actually uh, working from on top of the roof. And that obviously would involve a different sort of scaffold or a much lower roof. Um, so I'm going to have to think about that for next time. But the underlay stuff is absolutely worth it. It keeps the wind out, it keeps the water out, it's, uh, it's a proper membrane and it lets the, the humidity uh, expand. So that was 170 euros well spent. I started tiling up because again I was doing this from the inside quite early um, probably too early it wasn't the most sensible thing to do because I had to take a lot of tiles off again to do edging to do other things so the order was complicated and probably not done very well but the tiles themselves well I bought three pallets of tiles each pallet of tile cost about 200 euros so we had one at 185 one at 210 uh, so I've just calculated that as, as 600 euros for the three pallets of tiles, although I do have a few tiles um, still left for, for emergencies and for fixing things or for the next roof. So once most of the tiles were on, it was time to start doing the, the external metalwork, the flushing against the wall and uh, against the ridge, uh, well not the ridge, the gable rather. Um, so those are aluminium panels with the the fixing screws um are quite expensive um so that came to about 180 euros and then lastly uh we come to the ridge tiles which went on uh, just last week um and the the clips that go on with them so uh, they were another 40 euros um and then i sort of added 80 euros for various tubes of silicon uh, for screws and things, things that I basically didn't have. Now, that might be a little bit conservative or it might be a, a, a little bit too much. I'm not really sure, but it's it's about right. So what's the, uh, what's the final verdict? Well, 1,490 euros is, uh, is what this cost. It took me, uh, obviously not working full full days but just entirely on my own 33 days if i'd had uh say a tile lift and i didn't have to carry them all up i probably would have gotten a lot more done in a day uh, if i had a full scaffold it would have been faster as well but it would have been best i think to have somebody helping and I know that's uh, that's surprising for me to say because that's not the way that I've decided to do this project. I'm doing it all on my own. Um, but someone to help and pass things up would probably have made my life a huge amount easier uh, and made the whole project go faster. Now, I didn't have more time um, and I didn't have more money in one go. So uh, spreading that, that 1,400 euros or 1,500 euros out over a, a few months was probably quite sensible in the end. So, uh, is it worth doing? Well, what would it have cost? I had someone look at it, uh, um, a local builder, just who I know, and, and just asked, you know, what it would cost. And he said, oh, well, you know, once you've got the scaffold up, and they wouldn't do anything without scaffold. So the scaffold would have cost um, just putting it up, taking it down and renting it for a month, um, about 1,800 euros, because um, it wasn't a huge scaffold, but it still needed to be quite... I mean, it's quite complicated and quite high. Um, the material costs would probably have been a more or less equivalent, might have been a little bit more expensive because I don't, I think they make a little bit of margins on it. Um, but he said, think somewhere between 10 and 14,000 euros to have that roof completely finished. 
Um, and if we take 14,000 euros, then it's a factor of, of one to 10. For every euro I put in, I've saved nine. Um, and that really is worth doing. Uh, would I do it again? Yes, and I will do it again. I will have to do all of the rooms on this house, um, one by one. Um, and I think I'll get better and better at it. This roof isn't perfect, but it's pretty good. I think it'll last a long time. And I'm very proud uh, and I'm very happy with this. But it was extremely strenuous and carrying all of that stuff up there. So there are some things um, that would be really worthwhile in some way of getting tiles up onto the roof um, with a sort of lift and getting tiles back down off the roof. That, that would be really useful. Uh, and some better way of screwing myself than a rope and a climbing belt, um, although that really did work quite well. So, all in all, um, 1500 euros, 33 days. Um, it was something that I massively underestimated when I started. I thought this is going to be really quick and easy. Um, and then I rebuilt the entire structure. Obviously, if you're just changing out tiles and uh, and lats or or insulating, then then that would be much much easier. So um, so yeah, that's it. That's all I really wanted to share with you. Is is it worth doing? Yes, it is worth doing. Uh, be very careful if you're going to do it because rooms are quite high and you could fall off them. But um, but if you're going to do it, you're out there and you stand to save a lot of money. But my great advice would be put some sort of scaffold around it if you can. Um, make sure that you're tied on and safe and do it from the outside, don't do it from the inside because from doing it from the inside really does complicate things and make it a lot harder to get everything straight and lined up in the end. Um, try and do it in one or two goes rather than over you know seven months. Um, because you do lose motivation at times and try not to do it in winter. So those are my uh, my words of wisdom for anyone who's thinking about re-roofing uh, a shed or a, or a barn or a little part of the house. Um, yeah, well, I hope they've helped. So in the meanwhile, thank you very much for watching. I shall be heading down uh, very soon and I shall start uh, doing the next big project, which I shall walk you through as soon as I get there. Until then, thank you very much and bye bye for now.